What's up guys? We are done insulating and we're putting plywood over the insulation. This is what is going to be behind our fixtures and appliances for the most part. So it's just some sanded plywood. We use the rigid insulation, put it in beneath the, the windows. And like I said, we're covering it with plywood now. 19 30 seconds inch plywood. It's about five layers of plywood. To install it, we're using self-tapping screws. These guys, we got them at Home Depot. It's a process. So first we're drilling because behind the plywood, we're drilling into the metal brackets here between the windows. We're using this tool to kind of make an indent for the screws so they don't kind of splinter the wood. And then we're finally putting in the self-tapping screws with this guy. Some problems we're running into is the bits are breaking in the metal. So we're having to replace those bits to drill into the metal. It's working so far. Getting a lot done. So today we are making our couch and dinette. We love to play board games. We love having people over that there'll be space for us to turn into beds. So the dinette and the couch will function as separate individual sleeping spaces and it'll be giant sleeping space. So today we've been measuring, figuring out how big of a walkway we can live with and live without. And from there we've been measuring and we're gonna start framing it. Another function of this couch is we decided, since we're putting in a bathtub, which you don't see on hardly any schoolies, and when you do see a bathtub, they're pretty small. We just went to look for a tub and found just the most perfect tub for like $75 at a reuse um, center, so we got it. We just found this in Bring Recycling. This will take up a lot of space, and we're budgeting our space for that because this is gonna be our home. We're gonna have the amount of fresh water that it would take to fill a bathtub and do all of our other stuff, so. A pretty freaking sweet bathtub though. 